I guess you can say 2020 has been a little less than exciting. There really hasn't been many big game releases, and throughout the year, we really have no Nintendo Directs or any type of big presentations to get us hype for what's to come in the future. They've kind of just been random game drops, and lots of the games have been ports or remakes from past games that's already come out on previous Nintendo hardware. Outside of Animal Crossing New Horizons and Paper Mario The Origami King, there really hasn't been too many brand new titles to play on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Now, obviously, COVID didn't really help this at all, and it kind of prevented Nintendo from doing things like Nintendo Directs and big showcases such as E3, so there wasn't really many reveals, and there wasn't really many big games coming out this year, so Nintendo's probably focusing their efforts and pushing everything for 2021. And with Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity being the only new game left for the year, it makes everybody wonder what the heck is happening in 2021. Well, today we are going to discuss why 2021 could possibly be the revival year for Nintendo and the repeating of 2017, which was the year that the Nintendo Switch released and doing so alongside some major AAA games such as The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey. But before we get started today, there's only 13% of you guys that are subscribed that tune into my videos. So please, let's try to turn this around and make this into like a 20-25% or something like that. If you guys are tuning in and you enjoy the content, make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date on all types of Nintendo posts that I post three times a week. So yeah, just hit that sub button, click it real quick for me before the video gets started. And thank you guys so much for doing so. On to the video. Most people believe that 2021 is going to be the big year for Nintendo, me, myself included, mostly because most of the big games have already released in 2017, which means it's almost time for them to come back around. Almost four years later, we should be seeing again something from Mario, Zelda, and some of the bigger IPs from Nintendo. The first game we have slated for 2021 so far is Mario 3D World Deluxe, coming in February of 2021. So we might as well start off by talking about Mario. So I was expecting some type of big Mario game for 2021 being like a Mario Odyssey sequel or another type of Mario 3D experience, or maybe like a 3D World 2. But instead it looks like our Mario game of 2021 might just be Mario 3D World. And it looks like they're including some extra stuff as it's plus Bowser's Fury. Now I know this game isn't actually called Mario 3D World Deluxe, it should be, but it's just called plus Bowser's Fury at the end. So it's Mario 3D World that we love and enjoy. Maybe some extra stuff will be added, maybe we'll get a direct focusing on some more stuff about this game. But it's Mario 3D World, yet again another port from a game that came out on the Wii U. So I am still wondering if there's going to be any other big type of Mario game for 2021. And I'm going to say no. I think whatever the next big Mario game, Mario Odyssey 2, whatever it is, isn't going to be released until 2022. And I think this is Nintendo's way of saying this is what Mario is going to get in 2021. And it's unfortunate because I was really expecting a bigger Mario game. Now, just because Mario isn't showing up in full capacity for 2021 doesn't mean that there still aren't other big IPs ready to take over. Now, the same way Nintendo went all out for Mario's 35th anniversary, they're probably going to do the same next year for Zelda. Yes, 2021 marks the 35th anniversary for the Legend of Zelda franchise and we probably are going to get some big game announcements and, you know, kind of past games coming to the console. So here's what I think is happening. It's going to be a gigantic year for Zelda. I think some big things, monumental things are going to happen. For one, I do think we're going to get a trilogy pack of some sort, the same way we got with Mario. Now, are these games going to be any different? No, I just think they're going to be slightly enhanced the same way Mario's pack was. But with three Zelda games, Zelda games are very expansive and full, chock full of content. So I'm sure there's going to be tons of stuff to do with a Zelda 3-pack. But what's in that 3-pack, you might be wondering? Well, it's hard to say. Personally, I would love to see the Ocarina and Majora's Mask games that came out on the 3DS kind of ported over to the Switch somehow. Um, but if I had to say that they were going to do a 3-pack, obviously I think everybody knows what that 3-pack is going to be. Of course, you're going to have Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and the one that still has not come into a modern console, which is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which originally came out on the Wii. With those games released and probably some smaller things happening here or there, maybe some free online Nintendo Switch game because we know Nintendo loves doing stuff like that like they did with Mario uh, 35, I think it is, the Battle Royale version of Mario Brothers. Um, but of course, the big Zelda thing, Breath of the Wild 2. Yes, the sequel to Breath of the Wild was announced a while ago, and they did come in during the Age of Calamity trailer and say that they're still working hard on the game, and more information will be coming soon in the future. So I'm predicting
predicting this game to be the big holiday title for 2021. Uh, the first game was a big spring title to start off the Nintendo Switch, but this time I think this is the perfect way to have a holiday title that absolutely resonates with everybody that owns a Nintendo Switch. Now the Kirby team over at HAL Labs have stated multiple times that they're working on the pinnacle of Kirby games, which almost everybody is starting to believe is going to be the first real big 3D Kirby experience which is going to be a huge AAA title. And I think it's going to be as huge as some of the bigger Mario and Zelda games for once for Kirby, because we normally get the traditional 2D Kirby, which is great and all, but it's always just an average game. I know I just triggered Kirby fans everywhere. I love Kirby, don't get me wrong, but, you know, Kirby games are always good, but I don't really ever think a Kirby game is magnificently huge, like something like Breath of the Wild. So I think this could very well be the first Kirby game we get something like that. Super ambitious, super exciting. And it might be around spring or early summer when we get this title. I would love to see what Kirby does in a 3D space, and I think a 3D Kirby game could be something that we all look forward to. Star Allies was our last Kirby experience with some smaller titles thrown in here or there, um, but I think it's finally time for the big next Kirby game to come in, and I think it is going to be a huge 3D Kirby game, which could be super exciting for the year 2021. Now this is a game that's been very quiet within the Nintendo community because lots of people just don't really talk about it anymore. We have two games in the franchise so far and the second game is kind of done and over with now, uh, at least for the community. But Splatoon is what I'm talking about, and I think it's almost time for the next Splatoon game. Splatoon 2 dropped in 2017, so I know a lot of people are probably thinking it still feels a little too soon, but I think it's at least time, or almost time, for them to announce the next Splatoon game. If it's not released next year, I think it is definitely announced, um, but I cannot wait to see what the team does with 3, because I think 2, no matter what game they always do, the sequel is very close to the original, the same way with Mario Maker 2, Mario Galaxy 2, I hope Breath of the Wild 2 is not that close to the original, I hope it's completely different um, and adds a whole bunch of new attributes, but aside that, I really think Splatoon 3 is going to be very ambitious and do a lot of things different than the first game. It's going to kind of change things up and shake it up a bit uh, so it feels like a completely original game and not like DLC like Splatoon 2 at least felt for me. Splatoon 2 was still tons of fun, but I think they need to come up with some really creative modes and maybe even take certain shooters that already exist into consideration to come up with cool modes. And one mode I've been talking about for a while is a Splatoon Battle Royale. It'd be incredibly cool to drop into an Encopolis place and that all these different maps are conjoined into one one giant battle royale map and it's your job to collect weapons and swim around this giant town as the storm closes and tries to capture you and I think that would be really cool and it's something that will always have replay value because you can keep updating a battle royale with new map details new map information and switching the way the game plays this is a way to keep multiplayer online alive for a long time and I think Splatoon 3 could very well last um, all the way to the end of the switch cycle and maybe even move on to the next console whatever that may be now, if Splatoon 3 doesn't make the cut, I do think there will be some type of big multiplayer game for 2021, and I think it's going to be the next installment of the Mario Kart franchise, Mario Kart 9, whatever the next Mario Kart they decide to go with. You know, we've been having some little spin-offs, we've had Mario Kart Tour on the mobile devices, and now we have that new Mario Kart kind of VR game or toy that you can purchase. Um, but we don't really have the next big home console Mario Kart game. And in fact, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is just that, a deluxe version of Mario Kart 8 that came out originally on the Nintendo Wii U. So I think it's time for a brand new original Mario Kart game built from the ground up with unique tracks specific for this game. I don't want kind of like a Mario Kart Ultimate with a whole bunch of past tracks. I want a brand new Mario Kart experience with new tracks, new characters, and a whole bunch of new excitement. You know, maybe even some different franchise characters coming in like a Kirby or Captain Falcon and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. Link again, bring him back with Animal Crossing characters and the Splatoon Inkling characters. And I think it'd be really fun. But I do think Mario Kart is getting ready to gear up to happen again, and I cannot wait. Now, I do think Mario will have some small spin-offs, such as another sports title. I'm hoping for like a golf or a football, something new like that, or maybe basketball revival. Um, but there could also be some sort of Mario Party game again. We had Super Mario Party. Lots of people were upset that they didn't add more boards or have DLC for that game. So maybe we just get a new Mario Party and they really work on making this Mario Party as good as the original were. Um, but we're just going to have to wait and see what Nintendo decides to do with that. But Mario Party is something that lots of people like to pick up and play with their families and stuff. And I can see this being a big deal for lots of people. So hopefully they find a way to fix the problems that they've been having with the recent installments of Mario Party. Party, and uh, hopefully we can get something fun there. 
And I think Metroid has a lot of stuff happening this year. I know there's been a long rumored 2D Metroid that's supposed to be coming soon, and also Metroid Prime Trilogy, which has been rumored for a very long time. Uh, but then you have Metroid Prime 4. Now, right off the bat, this is not going to happen next year. I don't think there's a chance, but I think we do start to see this game. I think we do start to get small gameplay trailers and some information regarding the game, uh, but I don't think the game is going to launch really until holiday season of 2022, which is a very long time, but they did have to restart development. They have just re recently stopped looking for, you know, developers and people to help them, but they've hired a magnificent cast of people I've seen that worked on some of the biggest games ever, and uh, they're all coming together with Retro Studios back in at the helm in order to make this the best Metroid Prime game that they can possibly make, and I love that. And I think it's going to be a really good game, but I think in 2021 we at least see this game for the first time, which is going to be exciting as heck. But yeah, the last thing you really have is just tons of Smash DLC still, because I'm sure there's still going to be four more characters to announce. I don't think we're going to get another character announcement this year. I think the last four characters are going to get announced and released within 2021, because like Nintendo said, they now have until the end of 2021 to have the final character released. And they just, that's simply a character a season, you know, spring, summer, fall, winter, and then you're done. Um, so I think 2021 is also going to be full of, of cool character announcements for Smash Brothers, and that game's still going to be alive. Um, so that is something to look forward to for Smash Ultimate fans as well. So right there, it looks like 2021 could be absolutely spectacular, but it's up to Nintendo to make these announcements and, you know, have these games ready to go if they do. And I'm sure there's going to be some also small uh, surprises and announcements that we didn't even expect in the first place. Um, so I cannot wait. I am super excited to see what Nintendo has up their sleeves, but it's just up to Nintendo to announce these things. I don't I don't know if they're going to talk about 2021 titles anytime here in 2020 or i don't know if we're gonna to have to wait until like you know january february of next year to hear about these titles um but yeah pretty soon we're gonna have only one title to look forward to in 2021 and that's mario 3d world so i'm sure some type of information is coming soon but always let me know what you think in the comments down below are you guys thinking 2021 is going to be as big as others are thinking or do you think um it's not going to be that well because of covid still lingering around um hopefully that thing is dead by then and we can actually have a good 2021 but thank you guys so much for tuning in and like always i'll see you in the next one see you guys